I feel passionate about St. Joe's, of course. I feel passionate about uh, my family, uh, my work. Dennis had initially chosen St. Joseph's University as his fallback college until a fortuitous meeting with the assistant dean of the business school. I was invited to a, an interview with a Boston College alum down at St. Joseph's. So that alum happened to be Father Al Jolson. He looked at me and he said, Dennis, I'm gonna recommend you for Boston College. And I said, Father, that's great. He says, but I think you're a better fit here at St. Joseph's. I was thrilled to be at St. Joe's because I grew up with St. Joe's. You know, my father went here. I grew up going to basketball games at the Palestra. Dennis's passion for St. Joe's basketball led him to apply for the coveted job of being the university's mascot. Back in those days, there was not uh, a scholarship associated with being the Hawk. And so I guess you just had to be crazy to do it or, you know, you, you really wanted to do it. And I really wanted to do it. I served for three years, which, which, which was just a, a lot of fun. Dennis's many experiences at St. Joe's would shape him into the man he is today. I was an accounting major and I knew I could come out of St. Joseph's with an accounting job, which, which I did. But I really loved the liberal arts side of St. Joseph's, the philosophies, the histories, the theologies, and also the idea of service. You know, I guess that's the part of the Jesuit ideal of, you know, teaching or developing the whole person. Dennis has served on numerous reunion and fundraising committees, as well as being a member of the Barberlin Society. He also served as president of the National Alumni Board and the Law Alumni Chapter. Father Lannan asked a few of us to take a look at the bylaws, and the whole idea was to make it more reflective of St. Joe's alums. From those bylaws, we were able to create a National Alumni Board and a, and a whole new way of doing things. I do think it's had a positive impact on the Alumni Association. Dennis's great passion for St. Joe's basketball, which started as a youth, would continue throughout his life. My wife and I would go to, we were season ticket holders, and it was always an outing for us and something we looked forward to. Um, so it just became so much a part of the fabric of our lives from November through March, and hopefully the end of March. <laughs> and, you know, so I guess some of that's actually rubbed off of my daughter. She's gonna go to St. Joe's and play basketball for St. Joe's next year. So that's very exciting. Dennis is fiercely loyal to St. Joseph's University uh, in so many ways, and through his engagement and through his involvement, he's made a, a lasting impact on a number of individuals. And so Dennis and his wife, both proud alumni, everything they do emulates from what they learned and experienced here at St. Joseph's University. I'm just a small part, a very small part of what goes on in St. Joe's, so I am humbled in that way, and I'm obviously honored, very honored to receive the award will be among, among those great events in my life. Congratulations to Jamie, Pat, and Marlene on their well-deserved honors. Thank you to the St. Joseph's University Alumni Association and Dr. Reed for this wonderful award. I have had the privilege to work alongside many talented and generous people with the National Alumni Board, the Law Alumni, and the Council of Presidents. I have all of you to thank for the Hogan Award, and I am grateful for your friendship. I want to thank my family, my parents, Mary Lou and Jerry, from the great class of 1954, for instilling in me the passion I have for St. Joseph's. My brothers and sisters, five of whom are proud St. Joe's alums, and most especially Eileen, my loving wife and hawkmate of 27 years, and our wonderful daughter Mary, who officially becomes a hawk this week, committing to St. Joe's basketball coach, Cindy Griffin. Thank you all for your love and support.